Yeah. Alrighty, folks, we're just about to start, but please come in just a little bit closer to help me out a little bit. That'll be absolutely fantastic. We're all good, Brian. Alrighty, folks, a very good afternoon to all, and welcome here to an absolute exquisite opportunity that we do present to you here in the heart of Springvale. Not often, of course, do you find a land allotment like ours where it does have, of course, substantial potential, but to offer dual occupancy already, providing a great rental income for years to come as well, uh, that's something very unique indeed. Uh, by way of introduction, my name is Harry Lee. On behalf of our owners and the good team here at ICL Group, it is our pleasure in welcoming you all as participants of the auction here for this exquisite address. Now, assisting me, uh, you have a number of my fellow colleagues on my left, Kenny Pham, uh, you have Ben Dang, Hi Pham, Hoi Sang Lei, Monica Tran, and of course you've all met Stephen Lamb throughout the campaign. If you want to have any questions whatsoever, feel free to speak with them. They will be more than glad to lend a hand. <clears throat> now, for those of you determined to be our new owner, I wish you courage in your endeavours. Just bid me confidence knowing that I am here to assist and guide you in reaching your real estate ambitions. But before we do commence the bidding process, I'm going to quickly cover the rules of the auction and run through the terms and conditions in which you may purchase. Now, the auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that are made available for inspection before the start of the auction. The auction rules prevents an auctioneer from accepting any bids or offers on a property after it has been knocked down to the successful bidder. The vendors do have a reserve price and as the auctioneer, I'll indicate bidders on request. The law prohibits false bids, major disruptions by bidders, it prohibits bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding, and it does provide fines for this conduct. The rules do permit vendor bids, the words I will use during the auction. To indicate I'll be making a bid on behalf of the vendor, our vendor bid, and by law, only I, as the auctioneer, can make a vendor bid. Now, for those of you that are unaware, we are live streaming this, of course, today with this and on our ICL Facebook live page. So be aware that that is taking place. However, no registrations have been taking place online. All our bidders, of course, will be physically present. What you see certainly is what you get. Now, made available for your inspection, the auction documentation. Uh, they do confirm that the property we are auctioning today is identified on certificate of title volume 8244 following 720. Hipping lot number 34 on Block G on title plan 1306, sub 848 square metres of prime earth here, more or less of course together with all improvements and fixtures to us, more commonly known as number 1 and 2 of 25 Region Avenue here in Springvale Central. Where the channels are going today sell all fixed floor coverings, window finishings and electric light fittings of a permanent nature. You will sign today and catch an unconditional contract within which there are no cooling off periods for the successful bidder amongst you, your obligations are simply twofold. One, it is to autograph the paperwork, acknowledge the terms, the conditions and the price of the auction. Secondly, it is a pay deposit equivalent to a humble 10% of the final sale value uh, with the balance due at settlement ideally in 60 days. A bit negotiable there depending on what you've prepared prior to today. By bidding here, you are telling me that you have read and approved all relevant documentation. Uh, it is at this time I'll kindly ask for any questions or else I'll simply take your silence as an assumption that you do accept and understand. Alright, good. Alrighty folks, I mentioned at the top what a unique and distinct proposition that we do have for you and I truly, I guess I cannot understate that fact. What we do have for you is something not is just different within the marketplace but very, very desirable indeed from whichever way you look at it. Number one of course, I would tick that box of location. It doesn't really much get better than this here on Regent Avenue. Of course, sandwiched between Osborne Avenue and of course uh, Balmoral Avenue. You're in the heart of Springvale in the beautiful central precinct that we all desire where you're within walking distance to the best that the suburb has to offer. From the retail experiences to the dining enjoyments that you would, uh, in, uh, I guess, uh, experience here, this is the type of location that we all absolutely dream of and we are offering you this marvellous opportunity. Uh, if you're talking about land, and we all know land is what appreciates in value and grows in price over time, we offer close to 850 square metres of it, folks. That is ample land for not only just for you to sit on over time, just to reap in the rewards over the years, but certainly if you're looking to fulfil its potential, we can see developments have already taken place to land similar to ours where multiple townhouses have been constructed. That's a precedent that certainly could keep you in good stead if you want to look down that avenue as well. Currently on the land, we have two dwellings 
Williams, as you can see here, receiving dual rental income. So that'll provide plenty, of course, a rental return for you to service the property whilst you plan for the future. We've got three bedrooms, of course, spread in both properties here. Uh, if you choose to live in one, rent out the other, rent both of them out, or you could renovate both of them, restore it to former glories, and certainly maybe revisit and look at that opportunity as well. That could be an option too. But whichever way you look at it, folks, just remember, this is a chance that simply does not come up on the marketplace often. It offers land, it offers great rental income with dual residences here, and of course your location simply cannot be beat. This is your time, folks, to make a day of difference, maybe a lifetime of difference. So without further ado, I turn it over to you in your hands now. I'm calling for an opening bid here for number 25 Regent Avenue. Where shall we begin today? Name your figure. Where do we say go? What's the opening price? Buyers, I do understand everyone's just a little bit tentative at the start of an auction, a little bit nervy. It's a big occasion. I do get it. However, uh, those who do bid first generally, of course, stamp their mark on proceedings, uh, often are in the best position to purchase. What do you say, folks? Could I see a start anywhere at all? Just an opening bid doesn't have to be your best. There we go. Bright start. Welcome in. Good luck at $900,000. Lovely work there. And from here, I love to think we're going $25,000 on the advance. Can I say nine and a quarter? At 900 neat now, looking for 25s on the go. Surely should only be sticky bidding. What do you say, folks? Don't let inefficiency hold you back. At $900,000, the offer then. Great value buying for 848 square meters of prime land going once. At $900,000, can I say nine and a quarter? Second call. At $900,000, the offer. Searching for 20 can I say 925 going twice third and final time at $900,000 are we all done signed and finished at 900 well folks I do understand your tactics and strategies if you were to wait and wait and wait until the very end of proceedings before making a move just remember it's not going to help you with your bidding activity with your competitive bidding we're going to be in a better position to announce it on the market earlier for you for you to buy better what do you say folks at nine hundred thousand dollars can i say nine and a quarter anywhere make a 925 first call at nine hundred thousand needs second call at nine hundred thousand can i say 25 going for the third and final chance at nine hundred thousand dollars well, folks, all I can do is provide you a better guidance on value. I'm going to place a vendor bid, no hesitation to do so, at 925. It is that nine and a quarter. Looking for 25s on the advance, could I say 50 anywhere? At 925,000 or so, back against you, could I say 950 on your behalf? You're in a great position at the moment. Let's show your strength. Could I say 950? Once again, dual income here from the double residences that we do have here. What do you say, folks? This is not an opportunity you want to miss. At $925,000 vendor bid now, what do you say? Use that as a platform to work with. Can I say $950 on your behalf? At nine and a quarter, then searching for $25. Can I say $950 going once, twice, at $925,000? Are we all done? So and finished. Can I say $950 going for the third and final chance at $925,000? Okay, folks, I'm going to make it very clear, loud and clear. I know the interested parties are within you there. Uh, if you're holding back, that's not going to help you. Once again, uh, if you don't understand, the highest bidder will secure su exclusivity to treat with us in the, in the event that the property does pass in. Look, I think that's unlikely. You're all out there right now. I suggest that you put your front foot forward. Call it 950. What do you say here? Really brilliant offering. Can I say 9.5? At 925, it goes for second. Third and final call at 925,000. Well, folks, I'm not going to muck around here. We're here to do business. I'm going to make it progress and certainly vendor bid. I'm going to go for a little bit larger just so you do understand where we need to be if you want to buy the property. I'm going to place a larger increment there, a million dollars vendor bid right now at one mil neat. And from here, I'm happy to chip away in 20s if you like, call it 1.02. Look, I'm going to do business with you. I know most of you out there want to secure the property. We're only here to help you, but without your bidding endeavors, I cannot get you across the line. If you have been holding back, this is your time. I've set the standard for you now at one million vendor bid can i say 1.02 and a million now looking for 20s on the advance just remember 
in a central location where you're close to everywhere. Literally walking distance to shopping, dining, doctors, schooling, everything, folks. At one million need, could I say 1.02? 20s on the advance to take the lead now at one million dollars the offer. Looking for 20s going once at one million dollars. Second call at one million dollars going third. And final chance at one million. All right, in fact, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna quickly go and talk with my owners, let them know exactly what is going on. I'm hoping maybe you can use this time just to re-strategize, just to rethink your own positions. Uh, just remember, without your bidding, I cannot get it onto the market, okay? If you're strategically waiting for your time, for that time, I should say, without your endeavor, we cannot get there. Just think about it. Call it a minute at the moment. Looking for 20s, I'll be back with you in a few brief minutes. Alrighty, folks, thank you so much for your kind patience. I really do appreciate it. Uh, certainly our owners do as well. What I'm going to say is this. I'm going to make it very loud and clear. Our owners are highly motivated to sell today. They've come from a long way. They're not from the area here to get a transaction done. So just to show you how genuine we are uh, to, and make sure that you understand the positioning, there's not going to be any more vendor bidding. So that will be the final vendor bid that I placed before at a million dollars. So there's only two scenarios that could happen here. Number one, of course, by bidding here, we could reach our very sensible reserve price to sell the property. Fantastic, whoever buys it, I really believe we'll be in a very fortunate position. Secondly, just remember, if we do not sell the property instantly, the highest bidder ex secures exclusivity to come treat with me, our owners, to find out what our owners are looking for. It's a very, very powerful position to be in. So if you have been holding back, and certainly your strategy has just been a, bit, a little bit reserved, 
I do suggest to at least take action now because this will be your best chance to buy the property. So no more vendor bids, I'll make it very loud and clear. One million dollars, I'll reopen the bidding back to you. Looking for 20s on the advance, could I say 1.02? At a million need now, looking for 20s on the go, looking for a million twenty thousand dollars. Surely, folks, this is your time, this is your opportunity. Don't pass this up. Two residences here, three bedrooms in nature each. If you think about it, great rental income to service the loan that you'll have. And certainly with 850 square metres of land, you've got plenty of potential down the track to build and certainly build something quite, quite large. At $1 million, can I say 1.02 anywhere? At $1 million now, sir, your interest from earlier, can I say $1 million and 20? If there's no better bid or offer, if you go that rate, I'm happy to pass it in to you. At $1 million now, looking for 20s on the go, can I say 1.02? First call, $1 million. Twice, are you happy to let it go? At $1 million, can I say 1.02? 10? 10? To take the leap, why not? At $1 million and $10,000. Lovely work. At $1 million and $10,000. And from here, happy to chip away 10s if you like. Call it $1 million and 20. At 1010, the offer then. And just remember, folks, if there is no better bid or offer, uh, the gentleman here will certainly secure exclusivity of the treat with us and find out what our owners are looking for. One million and ten thousand dollars. Looking for tens on the advance. Can I say one point zero two? A million ten thousand dollars going out first, second, and one million and ten thousand dollars for the third and final time at one million and ten. 20 it is. Snatched away 1.02 and 30 if you like, sir. Would you go 1 million and 30? At 20 it is, then give us the note. Can I say 1.03? At 30 it is, then there we go. 1.03 and 40 if you will. At a million thirty thousand dollars now, sure you nudge a forward circle at 1.04. At a million thirty thousand dollars, there we go. Things are heating up at 1.03. Going first call. 1 million thirty thousand dollars. 850 square meters of land. 19 meters of frontage. 1 million thirty thousand. Second call, 1.03. Going third. And final chance at $1,030,000. Done, finished, and going at 1.03. 50. 50, good. At 1.05, ramping it up there at $1,050,000. And call it 60 or 70 if you like. They use the 20 increment. Could be the better strategy. At 1.05, it is then no better bid or offer. We'll go to them at this stage to treat with us. At $1,050,000, then can I say 60, sir? At 1.05, then to anyone else holding back. Happy for you join in on the action. At $1,050,000, love to think a little bit further. At 1.05, going what? Can I say 60? Second call, sir, your instructions then. At $1,050,000, going for the third and final chance, 60. 60? 60 it is. 1.06. At $1,060,000 and 70 if you will, sir. At $1,060,000 of driving off of there. At $1.06 for this magnificent allotment. Could I say 107? At 1060 it is then calling for 1.07. First time then, 1 million and 60,000. Twice the offer. At 1.06, it goes for the third and final time at one million and sixty thousand. Are we all done? Sign and finish at one point zero six, sir. Quickly now at one oh six. Ten more, sir. Call seventy. At one million and sixty thousand dollars. Don't let this chance slip through your fingers. This is your time to strengthen your grip on proceedings. What do you say? Call it 1.07. At 60, the offer then. Remember, this is the heart of Springvale you're buying into. If you look at the capital growth over the last decade, Springvale has been one of the top performing suburbs here in Melbourne Southeast. At 1 million and 60, just go that little bit further, sir. Call it 1.07. First call, 1.060. Twice at 1 million and 60,000. Third. And final chance at one million and sixty thousand dollars. Kenny just needs some instructions there. No better bid will treat with you, sir. At one oh six. Twenty. Good. Eighty. At one million eighty thousand dollars. Then one point zero eight. Could I say maybe go one point one, sir? At one million eighty thousand dollars. Lovely work there. At a million eighty. Just to let you know, folks, we are on the market. We sell away. No better bid. At one million eighty thousand dollars. No better offer. The property will be sold. 
at 1 million 80,000. What do you say, sir? We're on the market, playing for keeps now. This is your time, this is your chance. Everything to play for reserve has been met on the market and we sell at 1 million and 80,000. Love to think you dig a little bit deeper. What do you say? At 1.08, and to anyone else, I know some of you like to make your moves after hearing those words. We are on the market, we do sell. 100% new owners to be had here, a deal will be done. At 1.08, no better bid or offer, it will be yours, sir. At a million and 80, 85, 85. At 1085, and sir, I thought the natural manoeuvre will be towards 1.1 at 1 million and 85 on the market and selling. At a million eighty five thousand dollars now, love to think 1 1, what do you say? At 1085, the offer, what do you say? Call it 1.1. Once again, a brilliant location, a great rectangular flat parcel of land here, two rental incomes, 1 million and 85,000. Would you nudge it forward, sir? 1115 to take you there. At 1.085, we sell. It goes on the market once, twice, at 1,085,000. It goes, we sell for the third. Another 1,090,000 at 1.09. And so this is your time to stamp your mark on proceedings at a million and ninety thousand dollars. The current winning offer at one point zero nine, call it one point one, sir. Ten to take you there. A great parcel of real estate. Yeah, you're not going to find another like it at one point zero nine. Can I say one point one at a million and ninety thousand dollars? You'll love to think you go just that little bit further. Call it one million and a one hundred thousand. Ten to take you there at a million and ninety. First call. 1.09. Second call. One million and ninety thousand dollars. Third. And final chance five. Was that five? Ninety-five. One one sir. Gone all this way. This is your time. To flex your muscle on proceedings. Can I say 1.1? One one? At 109.5. This is a property worth fighting for, certainly digging deep, extra deep for. Leave no stone unturned. Make sure your endeavor today is not one of leaving empty handed. Folks, at 1095, can I say 1 1? 1 million and 95 thousand dollars. We are on the market. We sell at a million and 95 now. Can I say 1.1 million at 95 the offer? First call, 1 million and 95 thousand. Twice, 1.095, done, finish going, 1,000, 1,096, 96, it's a slender lead at 1096, there, so I love to think 1.1, 4 to take you there, 1,096,000, would you call it 1.1, 1 .1? 96, he added 1,000, 1,096, 1.1, 1 .1? 1 1.1, 1,000? 1097. 1097. Sir, what do you say? Round it to 1.1. 1 .1. At a million ninety-seven thousand dollars, can I say 1-1? 1097 the offer. All to play for here. Major prize on offer. 98. 1.1? 1 .1. 99. 1-1? 1099. Can I say 1.1? $1,000, a gentle single to take you there. Actually, a very strategic move is to go 1.101. It's very strategic. $1,099,000 against you, sir. And to anyone else, happy for you to still join in at 1099. The offer, we do sell at that level if there is no increase. At 1099, first, second, at a million and 99,000. Third, and final chance at 1099. We sell, it goes, sir. 1.1. 1.1, sir. At least another thousand. You never leave it on that round number. I actually watched an auction today, conducted one, I should say, where that 1,000 won it. Isn't that right? At a million 100,000. I know everyone's stretching just a little bit further than probably what they like, but just remember, you pass this up today, these are the type of properties that would probably never come onto the market again. 1,100,000.
$100,000. Could I say a little bit more, sir? At 1.1, it goes first time. 1 million, 100,000. Twice. Yes? 1, 101. 1101, the binary bit they call it. 1101, can I say maybe 1105? 1 million, 101,000, and 101 reasons to buy this home for sure. At 1101, can I say a little bit further, sir? At 1 million, 101,000 dollars, just remember it's all to play for here. If the contract hits my hand, I do sell it. I cannot accept late offers. This is your time, this is your chance. 1 million, 101, we sell, it goes. First. Second. Third. And final call at 1 million, 101. Bear with me, sir. Thank you for your patience. What would you like to do, sir? 5,000 more. 5,000 more. Fresh plays. There we go. 1106. 1 million, 106,000 dollars. Time in her run. To perfection there at 1 million 106 latecomers at 1106 it is now at 1 million 106 thousand dollars would you go 110 sir that should actually give you confidence to go more to see new players at the price level it means it's worth it great value on offer at 1 million 106 can I say 110 now at a million 106 thousand dollars call it 110 at 1106 the offer sir against you also quickly now 1 million 106 thousand we do sell going first time 1 million 106 what I say anything left there 1 million 106 twice 1 1 oh, 06 third and final time at 1 million 106 thousand Madam, just to ask for your patience, want to make sure everyone gave everything they got at 1 million 106 that they do understand the repercussions. If they were to miss out today, we cannot reopen the auction. 1106, quickly, sir. Any more, sir? Any more from you? Sure. One more. Just a gentle one. One more. Sure. 1106 with you. Against now, sir. What would you like to do? I'll do a countdown from 10. Okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Done. Finish and silence at 1 million. If there is no better bit, it will be yours, madam. 100%. We just want to make sure that we're not doing them injustice at 1 million 106 final call sir first second quickly steven just need an answer quickly any more third and final call at 1 million 106 you can't it's your offer at 1 106 we sell we sell sold and congratulations well done. Congratulations on your purchase. Thank you, sir, and thank you, sir. At a minute 106, you've done really well. I'm love the whole team here at ICL Group. We bid you farewell. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you.